Hi, welcome to the Berlin vlog. My first ever vlog on Berlin, possibly my last. So my intention for this particular vlog is to follow the adventures of myself, James, my brother and my good friend Des um, on our adventures around Berlin where we'll be watching the German Masters snooker event on the Friday evening and then Saturday we've got a day where we'll be seeing the sights of Berlin, have a few beers with the boys um, and then yeah just so we'll see what happens. Hi, welcome to the uh, first part of my contribution to the Berlin vlog. It's Monday evening uh, so that makes uh, four days until the big day. Uh, heading off on Friday um, so I thought I'd give you a few words from the London end of things. Um, got my passport here, made, made sure that was in date, didn't want any incidents at customs. Uh, so that's that's safe. Got me um, got my guidebook there, Berlin guidebook, and uh, yeah, looking buzzing for it, buzzing. Looking forward to um, a few beers, or uh, as the Germans say, "Pa ein Bier kann." So yeah, I'll catch up with you in uh, a few days. It's now Thursday, the 1st of February. We set off for Berlin tomorrow, so I'm doing some packing. Berlin, I hear at this time of year, is very cold, so I've got myself a hat and a thermal. I've also got a scarf, a nice shirt for Berlin, and most important of all, the tickets for the snooker. Hi, welcome back to the Berlin vlog. It is the day of travel. We're on our way to Heathrow to meet Des, to catch our plane to Berlin. Wonder what my dad's thoughts are. Well, I think your lads can have a nice time. Hopefully you don't drink too much and just enjoy the surroundings. And Berlin's a beautiful city. Uh, I've been to Munich. Enjoyable trip? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, I had, I had some pervert uh, taxi driver. But um, when I lifted one of his books underneath, he had a pornographic video underneath there. Yeah, it was, Sounds um, like an experience. Yeah, it was, it was a good job. Anyway, have a good time. Like I say, don't drink too much. Come back and tell us all about it. Thank you very much. That's all right. not live, no, it's, uh, it might not make the final cut, but... Entering Berlin. Guten Tag. James? Guten Morgen. Just landed in uh, Berlin. First impressions. Everything's very organised and very tidy. Um, no one's particularly funny. So, uh, yeah, as expected so far. Just arrived. So I'll give you a little tour of the uh, of where we're staying. We come through here, come down the little steps here, and then we've got oh low ceiling just smacked me head. Kitchen area here, table, double bed, TV, sofa, another table, chair. Single bed there, as James. Hello. Double bed. Another single bed. And here, coming through here, 
is a sort of cloakroom type area and then that's the bathroom through there which Desi's currently using. Cheers. Just picked up a bit of German cuisine pre-snooker. Bit of potato there. Mm -hmm. Pom with ketchup. Also potato with ketchup. No ketchup on that right. was um, also uh, accompanied with something that they call here Bratwurst. And a side helping of Anglophobia. Yes. Oh. We're just going to have these and then we're going to get in there for the uh, snooker. Hi. Welcome back to the Berlin vlog for the German Masters here. This is the Eurosport bit. Hold on, film that and film that. Help themselves in. Yeah, look, it's a table in the Yeah, hold up. That's the, the good, good craftsmanship. Yeah. Is she lost, possibly? Yeah, it's, it's the same colour as they normally are. Yeah, it's a green one. <laughs> yeah. Not like those blue ones. No. Oh. You see, sometimes they're playing the old pool. It's like one of them ones that they've got down the con club, isn't it, Margaret? <laughs> Got a, a slight division in the ranks here. Me and James, very happy to stay here in the Eurosport studio and watch Colin Murray, Ronnie O'Sullivan, Neil Folds. Is that it? Jimmy White would be there. And Jimmy White. Uh, Mark, I don't think that Ronnie O'Sullivan will necessarily be there. And also, why do I want to see Colin Murray and? Uh, who's the other fella? Neil Folds. I want to go down there and watch Ding Jun Wee. So I'm going to go down there and watch Ding Jun Wee. All right, see you. And Judd Trump. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy yourself. We'll be here. Buzzing, looking forward to it. Yeah. Graham Dot is a player that I've never seen before. Um, so I'm looking forward to seeing him. I'm enjoying the German beer. I'm enjoying the Berlin experience so far. I'm looking forward to some more ding crocodile tears. I don't really understand what mate was talking about. I mean how much what is what is there to say about Snooker? He keeps he keeps talking, but just, just to introduce the players, let's play Snooker. We've just uh, just exited the uh, the Masters. Talk us through the evening. Well, I just met um, one of my boyhood heroes. Oh yeah, Neil Folds. James White. <laughs> Jimmy the Whirlwind White. Um, yeah. What can I say? Buzzing. Absolutely buzzing. Yeah. What, 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 uh, he wouldn't let the person that he was with take the photo. He was like, no, no, he's all right. He's got it. So tried to take a selfie. Bit shake. Bit shaky. But. Uh, I think I managed to just about managed to get it in. You can just about tell oh, yeah. it in. Well, we'll, sa we'll save it. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, me and, me and James. I look like a 
bit of a numpty. That's, uh, yeah. What about the um, the snooker itself? Forgotten all about it. Yeah. Just met Jimmy White. Yeah. <laughs> Six time world finalist. Lost every one. <laughs> Welcome back to day two of the uh, Berlin vlog. Welcome back. Welcome to day two of the Berlin vlog. Um, it's quarter past, twenty past nine. And um, I'm just, I'm all ready and that. I'm just having a cup of tea, waiting for the boys to uh, to get themselves ready. And then we'll, uh, we'll hopefully, um, we'll head out and see what, uh, see what Berlin has to offer. the view from outside our our front door and if we go down here language barrier is becoming a problem um, yeah none of us have got the balls to order anything because none of us can speak German we've just been in uh, that marketplace up there and um, there was all this food that looked really good but none of us had the bottle to ask for it because we can't speak German <laughs> embarrassing <laughs> but we, did, we, we, we found somewhere that sold the uh, cheeseburgers though didn't we? oh yeah yeah uh, it doesn't open until half past 11 on a Saturday so what are we going to do now then, boys? McDonald's? McDonald's. We'll have to go to either McDonald's or there might be a Burger King. Because um, we know, I think, like Whopper and Big Mac are sort of universal. So uh, hopefully we can find some... It's good that we're, you know, ingratiating ourselves in the culture. Of sampling some fine, of the German yeah, cuisine. Fine some local... bargain bu buckets. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ein Ein family meal deal. Danker Shan. So, uh, ten past eleven. Still yet to eat through our Europhobia struggles with language. But salvation is at hand. Completely ashamed of ourselves. Where are we not? McDonald's. Whoa, I feel much better now. So, uh, 
James has just purchased a genuine what is, what is claimed to be a genuine, a piece of the Wall. genuine piece of history yeah, I hold for, in my uh, hand for a princely sum of how much was it? Seven euros ninety. Seven euros out for a, ba a bargain for, for a massive piece of history. Yeah, I'm very, I'm pleased with that. My mum will, that will say pride of place on her fridge. So, um, of the you know three or four hundred meters of the wall left, the authorities decided to yeah, give most of it not? to um, a merchandise store. I don't see why. Why wouldn't they do that? They can you know make a few quid out of it. Make, make my mum happy in the process. Well. I hope Jean enjoys her piece of genuine what, burning. What a cynic. Let's go. <laughs> the cultural odyssey continues. We've now been walking for approximately one hour in search of a pub. We're very close to giving in and going to Murphy's, the local Irish bar. Thoughts, Mark? We need to be in Iranian Strasse. That's where all the pubs and bars are. Oh, well, you, you haven't mentioned that before. Well, I have mentioned it, but you should. Well, I think you should, yeah. Very cultural. <laughs> Very German. In the. Uh, you can cobble it together if you want. In the back of a taxi here, on the way to. <laughs> Mark, where are we going? Iranians. Strasse. Uh, Iranian Strasse. Much has been promised of Iranian Strasse. Uh, and I, Do myself we... and James are dubious. There's a lot of pressure on Mark at the moment. We're hoping for big things. I'll update you later. Cheers. An adapter. I take it all back. Cheers. the snooker obviously that's the re main reason we came um, I enjoyed that sort of interesting bar that we went to last night I thought that was uh, grimy but, but an interesting experience nice to have a look around Berlin all round I like it hills are going down well yes yeah. Lovely. A few beers with the boys. Yeah. Buzzing. 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 Loving it. Cheers. In love again. This is uh, Mark uh, dancing to Eagle Eye Cherry. Oh, do you know where Eagle Eye Cherry's from? Um, Sweden. Which is a real shame. But he is enjoying himself. So, well, he's, we're just going to let him get on with it. Flensburger Pilsner, so he's well away. Hammered. Just preparing now 
packing away, ready to leave before going home. James there, packing. Des. Right. This is very poor. Nursing a, ha nursing a hangover. Oh, absolutely, yeah. All, all packed, though. Ready to go. Lovely.